Good evening, everyone, and Merry Christmas to you all out there. I hope you're enjoying the day. We had some slick spots early on this morning uh, due to some freezing rain across the area, but uh, as the day went on, we saw that transition to plain rain, and uh, we actually saw some dry periods as well. So as we look ahead for tonight, uh, we could still see a few more showers coming through, even maybe a little bit of brief light freezing rain, especially across our northern areas. Uh, but overall, uh, as we look to like, the next 12 to 18 hours, a drying trend is uh, on the way. Again, besides a few passing showers for overnight tonight. So let's jump right into it. Let's take a look outside. Foggy conditions all across the area. This is actually Newport. And uh, I actually checked this camera about 20 to 30 minutes ago. And you could actually see um, some cars on the bridge. And now you can't. So the fog is getting worse here along the south coast and uh, along the city by the sea here in Newport. But again, uh, we're looking at foggy conditions, cloudy, and even some passing showers for tonight. One more check here. Uh, this is uh, the capital city of Providence. It's kind of even hard to tell. Um, way off in the distance, you can see uh, the lights and the the, uh, the city there. But overall, uh, we're looking at, again, foggy conditions and some passing showers from time to time. Now, I do want to keep you guys uh, posted on one thing that roads could still be slick tonight because our temperatures are actually dropping back uh, to near freezing, if not below freezing in some spots. So any wet surfaces or wet secondary roads, uh, any of that moisture that's on the ground is going to refreeze and could cause some slick spots in areas. And obviously tonight it's still Christmas. So Christmas night, everyone's still traveling or many people are still traveling. So, uh, definitely want to keep you guys posted on that and just something to keep in mind as you're traveling for tonight. So of course my three key things, that's the first one, slick spots tonight and then drier and windy weather for uh, Sunday, which is good news. Uh, we have the Patriots game coming up at one o'clock tomorrow. Uh, obviously the conditions for this game look to be way better than what they were just a few weeks ago over in Orchard Park, New York, but uh, you get the idea. Uh, no snow tomorrow and we're looking at drier, windier conditions for our Sunday. And then we're watching a wintry mix, a light wintry mix for Monday night. Uh, we'll keep our eyes on that one as it gets a little bit closer in time. Temperatures right now, we're going to end the 30s across much of the area. These temperatures are actually dropping. Uh, much of the coastline earlier today was actually in the 40s, but now they're back down to the mid 30s in Newport, mid 30s in Providence, even freezing now at 32 degrees in Smithfield. So you get the idea. That's what we're worried about. Some slick spots, especially across northern areas as those temperatures are at or below freezing. Let's time things out for tonight. Cloudy skies, a few passing showers later on during the overnight period. You can see right here coming through between about midnight and 2 a.m. Uh, some green comes through. That's some light showers, maybe even some light freezing rain coming through, especially for the north you are. Uh, again, not nothing like what we saw this morning, but it certainly could uh, cause some slick spots during the overnight time period. Now, as we go into tomorrow morning, unfortunately, the clouds are going to hang around uh, through much of the morning with temperatures rising through the 30s. Now, as we go forward here, you can see this is 10 a.m. Notice how there's some of that clearing from, you know, spotty clearing across the uh, map here. You can see that we are starting to get some sunshine, especially off to the west, and that'll build in for the afternoon. Now, we're going to still have clouds around for the day, but I would not be surprised to see some locations getting some sunshine uh, before the sun sets, of course, uh, for tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures, again, falling back into the upper 20s, low 30s for tomorrow night. Uh, very cold night and very dry night for our Sunday night as we end the holiday weekend. So as we head into Christmas night, of course, let's just recap things. 7 p.m., temperatures in the mid-30s, some showers coming through, but overall, we're looking at just foggy conditions. Uh, for the 7 o'clock hour. As we go into the uh, later uh, hours of the night into the overnight period, we could see some more showers and even some light frozen precip come through. Temperatures will be close to freezing in spots, but I think most areas along uh, 95 and south of it will be uh, above freezing. Now, for Sunday morning's forecast, again, mostly cloudy skies, drier and windy. Uh, gusts could be upwards of 30, even some cases up to 40 miles per hour. So looking at some very gusty winds uh, tomorrow. Temperatures rising uh, through the 30s into the low 40s. But again, when you keep in mind that wind uh, will certainly make it feel a lot colder, even though the temperatures are well above freezing. So to recap, foggy conditions, low visibility. Keep that in mind if you're traveling tonight. And uh, also keep in mind some slick spots on the roadways, especially secondary roads. My drive into the studio, uh, I took some secondary roads that were wet, and even my, uh, my apartment complex was slick as well. So uh, you want to keep that in mind as these temperatures drop and the wet surfaces can refreeze. So we'll have updates throughout the rest of the night uh, for your forecast for the rest of the holiday weekend and even into next week. So be sure to check back, and we'll talk to you soon. And again, enjoy the rest of your holiday and your holiday weekend. Take care, guys.